The uh, freezing temperatures on the way tonight. Mississippi Aquarium is checking and rechecking all of its systems to make sure its animals don't freeze. Noah Noble went behind the scenes at the aquarium for an inside look at the work. He joins us now live with uh, more on this process. Noah. Well, Hugh, it doesn't take a scientist to figure out that water and freezing temperatures doesn't always end well. It's why the Mississippi Aquarium was working around the clock today to make sure that all of its heaters were working. And when a lot of the aquatic life here requires specific temperatures, well, there's no room for air. Could something creep up? Could an emergency happen? Yes. We just go through our primary checks and make sure we, you know, cross our T's and dot our I's today. Jeff Gabula is Mississippi Aquarium's Senior Vice President of Property Operations. He's responsible for keeping the thousands of animals that call MSAQ home safe. We already removed some of the animals from like the aviary that they, we know aren't going to do well in this type of temperature. But there are heaters and different things for the animals that are used to something like that that they can find and, and get a space for. Aquariums and heaters already go hand in hand. Instead of installing additional heaters, Monday is all about making sure those computer controlled systems don't fail when aquatic lives are on the line. This is definitely a challenge. You know, we're not built for 20 degree and 18 degree days because we don't really have them much in the Mississippi. Stepping behind the the curtain is the boiler room where this labyrinth of pipes heats and cools the entire facility. This does all the heating cooling for the tanks as well as um, the heating for the guests. Yeah. So it's centralized centralized system which makes it really efficient. We have one boiler running at 51 percent and the other two are just standby ready to go. Back outside these massive tanks exchange the cold water for warm. Already Gabula sees a problem. See, like this is something that we would be fixing today. That little drip, drip, drip is a problem. This leak may not look like much, but if it's not fixed, the water could turn to ice and burst the pipes. We're going to go through and torque everything and make sure it's okay. Next door, all of these systems are controlled by computers. So, like, this is actually a picture of the alligator exhibit with the heater running. The alligator exhibit at 73.5 degrees. Real time data is even sent to workers' phones where they receive alerts if something goes wrong and overnight workers do routine checks. I know you'll have fail safes. I know you'll have all these things in place, but I mean, it's still gotta make you nervous going down oh, yeah. this low. It's stressful, it's animal life. Of course it's, we care about them as much as our families. Now the Mississippi Aquarium will be open for the rest of the week and with a lot of schools out for the cold day tomorrow, you know, this probably isn't a bad place to go for a little education while the little ones are at home. And if you have aquariums at home, Make sure you have heaters on for those, or if you don't have a heater for those aquariums at home, make sure the internal temperature of your house is adequate as well. Live in Gulfport, I'm Noah Noble for WLOX News Now.